Have you ever wondered about the predator-prey dynamics in the north? The northern ecosystem of Canada is a marvel of nature, a testament to the resilience of life in the face of harsh conditions. Here, every creature from the smallest insect to the largest mammal plays a vital role in maintaining the balance of this ecosystem. Our story today focuses on two such creatures, two main characters in a tale as old as time itself, the Canada lynx and the snowshoe hare. The Canada lynx, a majestic feline known for its tufted ears and broad paws, and the snowshoe hare, a creature of adaptability and endurance, both integral parts of this grand spectacle. Their intricate relationship, a dance of survival and adaptation, is a perfect example of the delicate balance of nature. Stay with us as we delve into the fascinating dynamics between the Canada lynx and the snowshoe hare. Meet the Canada lynx, a master predator of the north. This intriguing creature, cloaked in thick fur with tufted ears and wide paws, is a marvel of evolutionary adaptation. The Canada lynx thrives in the northernmost reaches of North America, a territory marked by dense forests and freezing winters. This feline is a specialist, not a generalist. It's been honed by nature to excel in its icy environment and to pursue a very particular quarry, the snowshoe hare. The lynx's large paws work like natural snowshoes distributing the cat's weight and enabling it to silently stalk its prey across the snow. Its keen eyesight, honed to near perfection, can spot a hare in the dimmest light. However, this specialization comes with a price. The Canada lynx's survival is intricately tied to the population of the snowshoe hare. But what happens when the snowshoe hare, the lynx's primary food source, becomes scarce? Now let's turn our attention to the snowshoe hare the linchpin of the northern ecosystem. This fluffy creature isn't just a cute face, but a key player in the survival game of the wild north. Its role? A primary food source for various predators, including the Canada lynx. The snowshoe hare has evolved to survive in these harsh climates. Its large hind feet, acting like snowshoes, make it adept at navigating snowy terrains, while its fur changes color to white in winter for camouflage. The population of these hares tends to fluctuate in cycles, typically peaking every 10 years. When the hare's population is high, the lynx thrives. But when the hare numbers dip, the lynx population follows suit. This cyclical dance of abundance and scarcity is a fascinating demonstration of nature's delicate balance. As we can see, the survival of the lynx is intricately linked with the fortunes of the snowshoe hare. So what happens when the snowshoe hare population fluctuates? Great question. In the northern ecosystems, the relationship between the snowshoe hare and the Canada lynx is a riveting spectacle of nature's balance. Imagine a seesaw, if you will. On one end, we have the snowshoe hares and on the other, the Canada lynx. When the hare population surges, their abundance becomes a feast for the lynx, leading to a boom in lynx numbers. But nature has a way of keeping things in check. As the lynx population grows, the predation pressure on the hares intensifies. This leads to a decline in the hare population. And as the hare numbers dwindle, the lynx, now faced with a scarcity of food, also see a drop in their numbers. This cyclical nature of the predator-prey relationship plays out in a delicate balance, like a dance choreographed by the forces of nature itself. In the end, the intricate dance between the Canada lynx and the snowshoe hare serves as a powerful reminder of the delicate balance of nature. 